gonna go over to Old Frog Hall today and see if we can find any sunken treasure. Um, I had a contest a while back to name this uh, Brute Magnetics 2,100 pound pull seven and a half, uh, 7.09 inches diameter giant magnet fishing magnet. I had a contest to name it. Okay, see if I can get out a sentence together today. <laughs> get my lips warmed up. I had a contest to name it, and there were some really good ones. There was, uh, there was, uh, it was hard to tell who the winner was because there's a bunch of different stuff, and no one really that's kind of a stupid idea to have someone most thumbs up, is what I'm trying to get to. Okay, get my lips warmed up here, anyways. Honorable mention names are like Maggie, Maggie's a good one, uh, Magneto was a good one. Uh, it's hard to tell, so I like Plinko. I'm not sure if I saw Plinko in there, but uh, you know, like the, the game on the price is right. Where they have the little discs and they bounce off the prongs and go down into a money slot. Plinko, that's about the size of a Plinko. Someone said, I'm not, I'm not sure if someone said it, I haven't looked at the comments today, but Plunko, we're gonna go with Plunko. Someone said something about the sound this will make when it hits the water. I'm not sure if they actually said Plunko. They may have, that may be where I got Plinko from. Maybe that's why I thought of Plinko to begin with, but uh, Plinko, I like it. Price is right, plinko chip, plunko, the sound it makes when it hits the water. The official name has become plunko. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so it's the first time using this guy, so I've got some thread lock so this doesn't fall off. Is it possible to use too much thread locker? Medium strength. I assume that means I'll be able to get it off if I have to. <laughs> should almost be a permanent deal unless I hook it up to a stainless steel pan like I was talking about and make a big thing. But uh, anyways, so there it is. Plunko is alive. And see, see my dog's harness over here. She, she saw that and came outside so she, she thinks this is happening. Whoa, look at that. How'd you get to be such a good hooch? Yeah. Huh? You just a good hooch? Scooter's broke. No, scooter's broke. We're waiting on parts. The scooter's broke. It's broken. Oh. <laughs> Find a webbit. Find a webbit. Uh-huh. She's like, I'm fine, I'm gonna find me some cat poop. Forget about the wabbits. I'm sniffing for cat poo. So for those of you that are following Bitcoin up here in the corner, I'm gonna put Bitcoin and gold and silver and copper. I may add something to it, but uh, just <clears throat> for those of you watching Bitcoin today, it plunged down and that's how they do it they're trying to steal everyone's bitcoins they do it on purpose it's being done intentionally to scare to death out of people once you realize what's really going on <laughs> you can uh, i don't know just i'll just end it at that once you see what's really going on but uh, i think i'm gonna turn the comments off on my videos for a while I'm sorry to the huge amount of people that leave positive comments. I really appreciate that. But to the small number of wild opinions and blibberty blabber, you can uh, go put three or four thousand hours into a channel if you want your voice to be heard. Maybe someone will listen to you. So with, with that Bitcoin, the, the bull run, the giant run it's going to make in this year, 2021, 
it hasn't even started yet <laughs> you almost have to flip your thinking now there will be a time probably later in this year at some point where it actually does fall off a cliff but uh it's not gonna be for a while you gotta kind of flip your thinking for those of you that watched my video where i showed that little tiny tiny blip in 20, january 2017 and compared it to the huge huge mountain start of 2021 What's going on is they try to scare you to death. I can see in there. Huh. Um. That's all filled with leaves, so who knows for sure. I see chairs and tires and some kind of something out there. But uh, this might be a this might be a magnet fishing fail, but we'll get Plunko wet and. Anyways, I just, you almost have to flip your thinking. So I'm not watching anything else except for Bitcoin. I'm just focused on Bitcoin and Ethereum, but I don't want to confuse the subject. So just Bitcoin. And uh, you have to flip your thinking. They, they intentionally try to scare death out of people and they make people panic. So and that's what's going on. So you have to flip your thinking. When it plunges down, from 37 to 33 or 38 to 34 something you know it's it's been done intentionally <laughs> it's called a shake out they're shaking out the weak hands like a like a big bluff and poker you have a really strong hand you just don't know it but you just got bluffed out and someone took all your money so my plan is to buy a house and some land later this year and it, it sucks that the little folks, the weak hands, they get scared and panic. It sucks they're going to lose money this year. But how I look at it is I've kind of figured out what's really going on. So I'm going to take, the way I look at it is I'm not taking money from the people that are panicking. Because it's going to happen. No, I mean, whether, whether I'm involved in it or not, I'm just a tiny little, tiny, irrelevant little investor. So it's gonna happen no matter what I do, no matter no, no matter what I say any, to anyone else. It's just gonna happen. It's just, something's gonna happen. So the way I'm looking at it is, once I get this knot tied out, the way I'm looking at it is, I'm, what, really what I'm doing is, I, is I'm taking, I'm taking the money that's basically gonna be stolen from those people. I'm taking it from the whales, the people that are manipulating the market. I'm taking it from them. Is the way I'm looking at it. And if you would like to follow along this year of 2021, I'll try to uh, incorporate it into action videos that you actually want to watch and stuff. I don't want to bore people and chase people off, but uh, it's definitely worth talking about. So that's my plan. At some point this year, I'm gonna I am gonna sell almost everything I have. Uh, I know it's gonna crash towards the end of the year. But I also know four years from now, you know, it, it's gonna be all the people that panic sell at two or three or four hundred thousand this year, whatever it goes to, one hundred eighty thousand, wherever it tops. All the people that panic, they don't realize, you know, they might buy for two hundred twenty thousand and sell for fifty thousand. And what they don't realize is four years from now, barring any black swan, which rarely happens, what they don't realize is. In four years, uh, four, four and a half years from today, four years from six, seven months from now, uh, it's gonna do it's basically repeating four year cycle. So it'll be up to like a million, 800, 900,000. So the people that buy at 220, panic sell and lose all their money at 75, you're gonna hear terrible stories and how it's a scam. But if they just held on <laughs> when they bought at 220,000, four and a half years, four years and ten months whatever it is you know that two hundred twenty thousand is probably going to be a million dollars so i mean the bitcoin the price of bitcoin will probably be around a million if if every you know i can't see the future no one can it's just if it keeps going the way it has been going in the whole entire history of bitcoin so 
stay informed if you're interested. I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, point of the story. What you eating? Hey, you're not supposed to be eating stuff. Point of the story, the, the bull run, the huge gains of 2021. It hasn't even started yet. If you look at the chart, there's some giant mountain on the right side. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's not, that's not the start. <laughs> the start hasn't even started yet. So, don't live in fear. Made in snow, a punku. Let's see if it's... Let's see if the name is genuine. Oh, that's a heavy dog. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I think someone recommended that name. I think Plunko was in there. I think that's where I got Plinko. Perfect. Oh boy. That's just, that's just, this thing might be 10 feet deep when they dug it. It's filled on with leaves. It's actually sunk down in there. I've seen in the comments on past magnet videos people recommend to tie this rope to your waist or something but that's actually a really bad idea that's how people get dragged to their death by giant catfish <laughs> as stupid as it sounds if something down there yanks on that rope you go in and you might not come out so I would recommend not tying it to your body It's unlikely, but that's <laughs> those guys that fish like that. They, they get yanked to their death all the time. They tie it to themselves. Well, not all the time. It happens. It is not impossible, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's why they call it the Dock Buster. It's too big. It's too big to drag. They were right. They, they recommend just dropping it down and just kind of go like this. That's why I'm going to end up tying it probably to a stainless steel frying pan to make it skim along the bottom. But it is strong enough to where it actually, if it hits something of any size, it doesn't matter at what angle it is, it's gonna stick to it. So. Hold the presses. I've got something and it is big and it doesn't wanna come out. <laughs> Great. Why well, should be a car in here or something? Oh, I'm gonna lose my magnet. <laughs> It feels like I can get a winch if I have to. Let's see. False alarm? You're smarter than me? Alright. Might be right. I'm gonna inspect this spot for a bit though.
well you would think with the chairs and I don't know if you can see the tire you would think there might be something metal in here it could be possible there's nothing here it probably is more likely there's something there but it's probably filled in with a decade or two decades worth of uh Let's say at least two decades worth of silt and 20 years of leaves, enormous amount of leaves right here. So, what's in here is probably buried so far down. The information I'm repeating about Bitcoin isn't isn't just isn't just uh, me talking. I'm getting a lot of this from the people that have been in it for a long, long time, and uh, billionaires they're putting in billion dollars. Those are the people I'm listening to. I listen to everything and draw my conclusions. So uh, I'm not a financial advisor, like I said, but. Uh, so like if my comment section was on right now there might be someone in there saying well bitcoin's just a ponzi scheme and, and a scam well <laughs> a ponzi scheme is social security in the united states if you're younger than me there's nothing there for you <clears throat> um basically is what's going on with there so that's, that's a ponzi scheme bitcoin is actually the opposite of a ponzi scheme <laughs> It's, it's not anything like a Ponzi scheme, but that's what I'm trying to say on a, it's just wild opinions. And most of those opinions that are wrong are, are uh, spawned out of the manipulation and the fear tactics of the people that are buying all the Bitcoin today after it dropped 10%, 15%. They're literally buying it right now. You just don't know it, but uh, anyways. You think you want to go home? I'm, I'm wet and I'm cold. And I got a boogery eye for some reason. I don't know why. Huh? Oh, she's a good. How did you get to be such good food? Can I can I ask you a question talking in the microphone? How'd you get to be such good food? Well, I was just born that way. I'm a red healer. So I like to be with my master. And I protect him from coldies and stuff. <laughs> I especially like to protect him from coldies. And possums. I'm not one of those people. If you do watch the subject, you'll, there'll be like a argument between gold and Bitcoin. I'm not one of those people. I I don't see why people can't have Bitcoin, gold, silver, and copper. You know. <laughs> so basically, what a lot of people are saying is. If you have money in the bank, that, that money really doesn't belong to you. And there might come a day where they just don't give it to you. So, uh, this, that can happen. But it's, their, it's their money, not yours, if it's in the bank. So, you might think otherwise, but <laughs> they don't have to give it to you. And we're probably a long ways from that, but I just I just want to uh, relay information to my my audience who may not be tuned in to that type of stuff uh, who knows I mean, you can't last year and this year you can't print 40 percent of the money that's ever existed in, in our country there's, there's something seriously wrong so <laughs> i don't know i just want to uh, try to put out some decent information not necessarily to tell people what's what but to, maybe you'll have a look for yourself and there's sharks in the water liars flat out people lying just absolute liars liars on top of liars do a little a little notice what i'm what i'm tuning into here lately so, like i said i started buying bitcoin at 18 000. i try to make videos about it and i just that's why the comment section's off because i'm sorry but i <laughs> I started buying it at 18. Bitcoin, that is. So, when it drops from 
40 to 34, 35, 36. I don't care. It's not going to go down much further. It's not. It's just not possible. Maybe it'll go down. That's called a shakeout. It's scary to death. They put out bad information. There are people on CNBC that <laughs> are wrong 95% of the time, and they're highly skilled veterans. And my dog could be wrong 50% of the time. So how can a how can a veteran? Of 40 or 50 years be wrong about Bitcoin 95% of the time it's because they're giving out misinformation and they're scaring people to sell panic and then they're actually the ones buying it they're saying not to buy it and then they buy it and that's I mean <laughs> a chimp or a, a chicken or my dog could be wrong 50% of the time so basically it's a professional that's actually right 95% of the time and they're just literally lying to your face so uh, that stuff's out there be careful none of those people are really skilled a lot of those financial people on tv they're not they're not any smarter than you they're just they're just there they're just <laughs> and, uh, some of them are just just don't care just absolutely don't care they just love money just greedy greed 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 they lie straight to your face so they can make an extra two percent anyways it's happening for sure hard to tell who's who and what's what i think that's gonna wrap it up my dog's starting to go and <laughs> go home get some stuff to eat treat to eat Come here, come, come say hi to everybody. Or say bye. Come say bye to everybody. Right, bye. It was good to see you guys. And uh, we're gonna walk home now and I'm gonna sniff for some rabbit poop. I like to eat rabbit poop and coyote poop. If I can sneak it in, if he doesn't see me, I like to eat poop. You know, I'm a weird dog. Nice to see you guys. Hey. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.